Now I want to bring your attention to Ethiopia where horror has become an everyday reality for many women. They've become victims of the ongoing civil war between the government and rebel forces from Tigray, both sides committing war crimes. They're using rape as a tool of war. The testimonies of the rape survivors are chilling. What's worse, there is little to no condemnation from global bodies. Let this report be a wake-up call about the plight of Ethiopian women. Ethiopia is in a state of turmoil. The only country in Africa to have never been colonized is suffering from a brutal civil war. On one side is the Tigray People's Liberation Front, a paramilitary group that once ruled the country. On the other is the Ethiopian government, run by Abiy Ahmed's Prosperity Party. For more than a year now, they've been fighting. The battle has now turned into an all-out war. Its biggest victims are the women of Ethiopia. Raped, robbed and beaten. This has become an everyday reality for many women in the country. The tormentors are both federal forces and rebel fighters. Between February to April 2021, 1,288 cases of gender-based violence were reported in Ethiopia. Most of the victims tested positive for HIV. Now, with the conflict intensifying, rape is once again being used as a tool of war. On Wednesday, Amnesty International revealed that 70 women have been raped in Ethiopia's Amhara region. The report details shocking accounts of the survivors. They say they were subjected to ethnic slurs and tortured in the presence of their children. Their testimonies are chilling. But why isn't the world speaking out? It's busy chiding Ethiopia about the arrest of UN officials. On Wednesday, at least 16 United Nations staff were detained by the Ethiopian government. They were arrested based on their Tigrayan ethnicity mentioned on their IDs. This prompted multiple calls for their release. They're Ethiopians. They are UN staff members, and we would like to see them released, regardless of whatever uh, ethnicity is listed on their identity cards. Well, we have seen the reports, uh, and they are, uh, we find them concerning. Uh, we clearly condemned the previous expulsion of UN officials from Ethiopia, uh, and if confirmed, we would similarly condemn arrests of UN staff members uh, based on ethnicity. The arrest of UN officials has triggered outrage. It should. But so should mass rape. Why are these crimes not even mentioned in press conferences? Why are they buried in small press releases? It's time the world woke up to the plight of Ethiopian women. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.